You might have been one of the top 10 people to defeat Spooky Castle on hard mode, and you might have joined my Discord server to brag about it. And you might have saw that one of our members, William, has a Discord status that is just changing all the time. Now, how did he do that? Well, I asked him, and he didn't hire a whole bunch of hamsters to do it for him. Instead, he used something called Better Discord. I think. I don't know. I didn't talk to him. I'm not very social. So to start off to download Better Discord, you need to go to the link in the description. It will be the second one because my Discord server will be the first one. And uh, you will see this page. Now, just before I tell you to install it, I just want to say that Better Discord is against Discord's terms of service. And what that means is that you now have a very, very small chance of being banned by Discord. Um, it's against Discord's terms of service because you could use Better Discord to like uh, send them nuclear codes and then blow up the whole entire server and then somehow get enough Xbox, uh, Microsoft points or whatever to buy the new Fortnite skin. And some people do that, and those are the people that get banned. But uh, if you're a normal person and just use it to theme or have these weird funny statuses, you should be fine. So if you care about your account, I would avoid this tutorial. But if you don't care about your account, like I don't care about my grades, then feel free to keep on going. So to start off, click on bandagebd.exe click on that bad boy and click install. Now you might have a couple options. I have two instances of discord running. You most likely will only have one. In that case, it'll be stable. So click install to stable. But if you want it on every single instance of discord, just click on any checkbox that does not have this red text. So I do it to PTB, but I'm just going to install it to stable. I'll tell you what all this means in a different video because you can use PTB for other things. I'm rambling at this point. Click install and it will restart your Discord. And for me, it opens on the other monitor, oh so inconveniently. And you will see this beautiful window pop up. If you see this window, that means you installed Bandage BD correctly. If you don't see this window, it's probably because either something's messed up or you might've installed it already. Uh, if you haven't installed it already, just join my Discord server, go to the help channel and put your issue in and I will solve it as soon as possible. So click on the X and now nothing really changed. That's because you need to go to user settings and you will see new settings at the bottom left. Settings, emotes, plugins, themes, custom CSS. Now themes and plugins have been discussed in another video, how to theme your Discord or something. And those are pretty helpful, but we're focusing on a specific plugin. So click on the plugins thing and you will see we don't have any plugins. Well, that's because we need to get some, believe it or not. Open up the third link in the description and you will see this page. Now. You need to scroll down and you will see download animated status plugin.js. Now, if you no brain it and just click on it right away, smashing your keyboard, uh, your mouse, you will notice you have this weird file. This is not what you're supposed to do. You need to go back, right click on the link and click save link as, then click save and it will save it as the file you need. Oh, so convenient. Now what you need to do is you need to drag and put the plugins into discord. If you try just like this, it won't work because that's not how it works. You need to open the plugin folder, open it up, and you need to drag it into the newly opened plugin folder. Now, once you drag it in, you need to enable it and go to settings. Now you see that you have time per keyframe, which is the time between each individual status. You have an animation change edit mode, an add button, and a minus button. Now you can change your mode into this crazy stuff. And let me tell you, uh, I don't have the brain power to tell you how this works, so you might need to do a little bit of Googling if you want to do some crazy stuff, but in all honesty, I believe the simple edit mode is very straightforward. To use it, you need to click the green add button and you can add text, a Nitro emote, or a Nitro ID. I'm not too familiar with uh, Discord Nitro because I am broke as all heck. And in any case, let's try to make a custom status. I am going to do something very uh, in-depth with the culture right now. I'm going to do uh-oh stinky and almost spell it wrong. And uh, basically what's going to happen is that you're going to start on uh, and then 2,900 milliseconds are going to pass and it's going to switch to O, and then 2,900 milliseconds are also going to pass and then it's going to say stinky. And if you click save, you can see it in action by just going back and looking at your status. Uh-oh stinky. And it will repeat, same interval, uh Oh, stinky. Uh, it felt like a little bit of a different interval, but anywho, you can change the timing on it. So let's say you want it to be a little bit longer. You go back to plugins, go to settings, 
and change this to whatever time you want. You could change it to 3000, which will barely change anything. This is in milliseconds. So uh, the SI unit conversion is uh, 10 to the negative three. And basically what that means is divide by a thousand. So if I have three point or 3,900, that's actually 3.9 seconds. I'm going to leave it as what it was. So if you try clicking zero, it'll reset it because it, the value cannot go lower than 2,900. Anywho, you can do a little bit more advanced stuff uh, with this basic editor. You could do up, O, and then add a space. And what the space will do is it'll actually clear your status for that frame. And then you can put stinky. So it's kind of like a shock in a sense. This is really awful analogy. But anywho, in practice, what it does is it does uh-oh, and then wipes your status, and then puts stinky. Try to keep it friendly for all your servers. Um, you know, if I put like any uh, vulgarity in mine, I'll be banned from the Terraria server, which would be absolutely excruciating to my feelings. But let's say all goes to heck and you don't want it anymore. Well, it's pretty easy to uninstall. To start off, you need to go to your downloads folder, which uh, of course is extremely inconvenient for me because uh, I gotta I gotta blur all this stuff out. But you need to open up bandagebd.exe again. And all you need to do is click uninstall and then click on the checkboxes that you installed Bandage uh, Better Discord to. So in this case, we only installed it to stable. So click on remove from stable. And if you want to remove all the plugins, let's say you're totally done. You don't want to do this anymore. You want out of the game. Then click remove all Bandage Better Discord data. But if you might uh, reinstall it later, you don't have to check that off. But in any case, just click uninstall. It will reset your Discord and now it will be back to normal. So you might still have your status, which you'll need to reset and clear it. But if you go to your settings, you will see that you don't have any of those better Discord settings anymore. And that's how you uninstall it, you know, in case mom gets mad or in case, you know, the Terraria admins get mad. And oh God, they always get mad at me. Anyhow, I'm gonna go cry. I'll see you guys later.